Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you did. Hey, Spody, you, you seen Brick, um, little, little episode talking crazy oh, and shit? Was you able to see that shit, Chick? Uh, yeah, a million people sent it to me. I'm, I'm sure I, they I, I did. Watched, I watched a little of it. Okay. How you feel about him, him, him trying to imply that you a cop for recording his, um, recording that phone call? How you feel about that? He would only been a cop if they was speaking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's let let's let yeah, Spody answer. Let, let, let him answer listen, real he, quick. But listen, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I right, let's you ghost for ghost. A lot of y'all niggas from out of town, bro. And and and, and I ain't saying Spody don't know how to conduct himself. I deal with a few. Yeah, that that nigga right. very intelligent, bro. We just did a whole I hour interview with him, bro. Listen, he know how to answer questions. On it. We gonna put yeah, but what y'all not gonna do <clears throat> is make nothing content with the nigga. That ain't gonna happen, right? Period. As a G, I ain't gonna let that happen of a West Coast nigga. What nothing that was on that phone conversation he put out, criminal. Nothing on there was criminal. There was no threats. There was nothing. It was just basic conversation. So with that, what no cop shit. So if Spody want to answer, he can answer. Yeah, um, I agree. I agree a thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? Well, um, what Wack just said. My whole thing about it is. Uh, you know, he um that was just pretty much a you know last dis dis effort, you know what I'm saying? Because of stuff that he was saying in the conversation, he really couldn't stand on. You know, this is my first time speaking on speaking on it in general, period. You know what I'm saying? But um I feel like it's just like it's it's the streets, like nigga, I'm gonna protect my imagery at all times, even though it wasn't initially, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't be courting it. Like, like, like I said, like in the other interview, my little bro did it, but I, at the same time I stand on it and I'm glad he did because the conversation that we had, he said one thing and he turned around two hours later and started making videos about me again. If you notice, my last three interviews, I've been shouting Brick Baby out. Yeah, you, you said out. it on the interview we did. You was like, look, yeah, I don't man. got no problem with it, but he didn't stand on business on that phone call. Yeah, I've been I've been shouting them out like I ain't even been trying to because it, it be coming off as like a nigga cloud chasing or whatever. Nigga, I don't got a cloud chase. Like nigga, if if niggas do their homework on me and my little cousin, like we ain't got it that bro the weed at. So you know what I mean? Like so when they start coming, that narrative been start um being pushed, I, I got away from it. I was trying to disassociate myself with the whole thing. But he made before I even put out that conversation, bro, he made like five videos about me. So at that point, it's like now you're trying to create a narrative and you're running with it, and that wasn't it. <clears throat> that wasn't what he what it really was. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, you wanna you wanna do this? Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, nigga, you was just you know what I'm saying breaking your whole life story down to me, and you say you didn't want no problems. I was also on the phone call telling them like. I'm not about to, if you notice, like, bro, I'm not about to be playing these internet games. Like, you, we pretending that it's up. You know what I'm saying? It's really not that. You get what I'm saying? So that phone call had, had that phone call had been, been recorded. I never released it until the nigga put out, like, five or six videos about this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that was. But, you know, any nigga that say it was some police shit or some cop shit, they can stand on it when they see me. You feel me? That's just like a motherfucker backbiting. If a nigga say something, if whack my homeboy on the yard, and I and I, I and niggas say, oh, this nigga whack a bitch. What the what woo, blood woo woo. What I'm gonna do? I'm like, hold on, hey, hey, whack, come here. This nigga calling you out your name. He's saying shit. That's that's what real niggas do, bro. You get what I'm saying? Don't say nothing behind a nigga back, or don't say nothing that you can't stand on, bro. And I live on that. Like he getting mad because he can't stand on what he said, and it's fucking up his relationship. You know what I'm saying? With Flame, Flame called the nigga a buster. You know what I'm saying? Told the nigga he wanted to get out, and you know he. I guess that's why he crashing out. And that's what make him look bad, cause it looked like he most scared of that than his click. And that's that's not a good look. Hey, hey, Spody, I, I got these texts. I got these texts in front of me and shit. Like, can you explain like these texts? He was talking about dealing with um dealing with four extra. That's what he was saying. Tell tell your homie to stay up off me. Was yeah, it four extra? I, I don't I don't I don't know nothing. Now. I don't even wanna I don't even wanna get into all that. My whole thing is about is. All these podcasters and all this, saying whoever, you know what I'm saying? He just started a whole clan, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, oh, there was a police shit, some cop shit. Like, nigga, tell them niggas to stand on that when they see me. Other than that, I don't, I don't really care. Bro. See, me personally, shit. though, bro, like, at the end of the day, like, I feel like this, bro. Like, okay, it happened. All right, cool. Bet it up. But, bro, anything you say on the phone privately, or you say privately with your homie or something, you should be able to repeat that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
You should be able to say it ten times You say once, say twice. Yeah, let, let me ask you a question. Tell me what's the difference. Tell me what's the difference. Tell me what's the difference when somebody backbite or say something about one of your homeboys and you go get your homeboy and, and, and let him know like what he just said. To me, a motherfucker, a motherfucker say, oh, you a real homie. Like you, you didn't let him speak behind your homie back. Tell me there's there, there's no difference from that. Yeah, you talking about DW, right? He's saying that DW is homeboy. Exactly. So, he did some so, buster shit. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, he would have never he would have never admitted that he said that shit he said if they would have had him on record. And that's and, a fact and people, too. And, and people forget people forget before I put out that court recording, he put out six videos about me, bro. I, my whole my whole little shit. I, I've been trying to get off that. Like, man, I push peace. I'm on some other shit trying to uplift my community, build my community, bro. And he keep letting that dude over there. You know what I'm saying? Run with the narrative. You know even after it's, even after you you think that he's the one who got your page deleted correct yeah so the same so the same thing he he crying about as far as them running content them running content on about three days in a row how you how you think i was feeling you know how you think i was feeling when they he, him and his him and his posse you know what I'm saying? they was running content about me me constantly constantly and i wasn't saying nothing i was trying to take the higher route so the same shit he over there crying about you know what i'm saying he but see the thing about it he wanted them to suppress he wanted to su them to suppress it you get what i'm saying he I, man listen when you, when you feel like you out there by yourself if you if you notice not one rolling 60 came to his defense out of all this all the spectacle the circus that they didn't talk about not one rolling 60 came to his defense bro so that's why he keeps saying my homeboy my homeboy he values that friendship with him and dw frame more than anything for the simple fact the niggas know the truth though Spody. them niggas is content buddies they ain't real homie hey look this is what yeah, i was I'm, thinking I'm, though I'm, hey I'm sporty really face real. this is what i was thinking though like because i know y'all was speaking on crit mac and shit, right and y'all was saying like why he would do that so i was saying like a scenario like okay you meet a motherfucker you've been knowing him for two months and you know say he's from the opposition or whatever and then he's saying little shit and you cool with him right but then you got your homie who that's from your hood that you got a relationship with and you don't you go in on your homie versus going on i guess the op you feel me is that, yeah. that that's how y'all feel about that whole crip max situation exactly what he did I mean, I, I can't listen. The words coming out of my mouth is, is I'm speaking for myself at this point. I can't speak for a, a thousand people. As far as me, as far as far as me, like I like I've been saying, I never really had a problem with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? As far as his friendship and his relationship with different hoods, because like I said, I, I got cousins and brothers as Don moves. I, I fuck with the other side. Some of my best friends is from H R Gangsters and Hoods. They're my niggas, but at the same time, is you know. Um, I, so, so I know how that go with a motherfucker slip up and shit like that. My whole thing is about it. He never said anything, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really own that. The thing would really, you know, what I'm saying, that got me out there is when you don't have no type of energy for that. Him in the, him, him in the, him in the bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying, Gordy? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Um, Cut had no type of, you know what I'm saying, energy towards them, but had all the energy in the world to Crit Mac. Give or take, everybody know, you know what I'm saying, Crip Mac history, you know, or whatever the case is, whether you hate him or you love him. He he his his life is an open book, homie, and he stands yeah, on Yeah. He stand on that. And like he like far as I know, like just outside looking in again, right? Like these yeah. guys that he called phase with, bro, it sounded like they were some reputable guys, like niggas beating ass. You feel me? But he still decided to go in the ring and take his phase. You feel me? So yeah. lose, win, lose or draw. I mean, that's like that's like you ask any 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 person in this room. You know what I'm saying, including whack. Like if you if you if you that just to me everything that he do right now. You know what I'm saying. More power to that dude, bro. But you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna keep beating a dead horse. But everything that he say or he does is a contradicting to me, and it just make him look bad because that's just like whack. You no, know, if a nigga if a nigga go in a dorm. You telling me you gonna let your homie run five phases and get knocked out five different times? Yeah, that's what I said. Back. Like it's a such well, thing as back it, phase, it, it, right? On, he should have caught the hold back. On, hold, on, hold on, let me land. Hold on, let me land. Because a lot of people don't understand what the LA County Jail is like. I'm not talking about no other county county jail in California. I'm talking about the LA County Jail and how our politics work. I ain't gonna get into too much of that. But at the same time, is if my homie catching more than one fade. It's an automatic run back. Bro. You're not running a homie more than once. Hey, I got it. All right, he got four phase. All right, go ahead. We're going back to back it. It doesn't matter. If it's just me and my homeboy, I don't matter how many homies. Are right, he going to get out? I'm going to get down there and so on and so forth. You give me a first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? 
a nigga not letting the homie get knocked out and I'm not doing that. So what was you back? To, what was you doing when he was getting knocked out? Which you yeah, just he helping me? Yeah, some niggas telling me better bag up. You know what he was doing. We Come been on, there, man. nigga. You know that. We know exactly what Come that on, looked man. like. That, that, and that, 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 listening that. if a nigga saying, "No, fuck that. I'm next with that nigga," right? Then that, that turns into a melee, nigga. Then we just getting off. <laughs> that, yeah. You're not finna yeah. let a nigga run. Yeah. Your homie yeah. like, homie, I got you next. Nah. Yeah. Don't have him like that. Man, we just getting off. We just locking up. Now we just locking. That's just what that is. Yeah, so in my personal opinion, that explanation, what he was saying is like, oh, I, this thing, he was trying to smut, you know, or throw crit back under the bus. It's like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's the part that I appreciate. That's where I came in. It's like, hold up, bro. Like you ain't even you ain't even on this nigga, and it's another that that another narrative that's been brewing up, and it start you know what I'm saying, and I'ma holla at you know I'ma holla at flame you know what I'm saying personally, I ain't gonna do all that, but I, I don't appreciate the narrative that's been around here, just like he said as far as like oh none of them niggas didn't ask you for a fade, they scary Larry how, the only reason people be missing it, people be missing the whole fact that. Me and my cousin, we the reason why DW Flame, you know what I'm saying, apologized to the whole neighborhood Crips. He wasn't even going to apologize to the neighborhood Crips because Brick Baby was up there saying, oh, this is my homeboy. He got to do this. We're going to keep him nah, Nigga, what you, what you talking about? I I hit up Flame on some many man shit. He didn't have none of that, no energy, no like We we neither neither one of us like that. Like, hey, bro, what's up with that? You know what I'm saying? You were just around the home. He's like, what's going on? He like, bro, I'm going to fix it. This, this, that, and the third. And it was that. I respected him. I slipped up, bro. You know, not even trying to, not, not saying that we marked him out or nothing like that. We just hollered as men. You get what I'm saying? And we got to understand. Yeah. That so and we nipped it in the butt. So as far as a nigga talking about, as far as a nigga talking about a nigga that had that type of energy or a nigga that called Flame, if, if you if you recall, I had two videos that go viral, went viral. One for Flame and one for Brick Baby. And, I, and for my... From my understanding, I had the same energy to both of them. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? And that, you know that that get lost, that get lost. So everybody be like, oh, they they oh, they just don't break baby for um, you know what I'm saying? And I say nothing, but ain't nobody on flame for saying something. Right? But, you did, but you did, but you did have a conversation with um uh, with DW Flame, right? You did have a conversation with him, and yeah. like <laughs> like if you could tell the people like how did that go? Like far as like. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I understood, like, because that's why I brought up Crip Mac, because I understood you was like, yo, we ain't even on that no more. You know what I'm saying? It's more so about Crip Mac, like, how he going to go against the homie like that. But, like, when you had that conversation with DW Flame, what that was about, bro? He just told oh, you. It, it, it was it was quick, fast, and hurry. You know what I'm saying? He he replied once he seen my video. You he he got in my he got in my DM like, oh bro, you know I, I, I nigga fucked up. I made a mistake. I know it be runs on me. I fuck with y'all, Crip. 